Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to taper the tip here. Now, we're using something similar to the block we used, the clamp that we used for the Hunger Games bow. The only difference here is that since this bow is a lot larger, you know, it's using one inch pipe, you're going to need to use a clamp that's a little bit wider. So you can see here I'm using a 1x3 board. So two 1x3s attached by a hinge. You see that. If you use a 1x2, you're going to find that when you try to clamp on this, the original, the starting angle is going to be too much and you can't get a good clamping pressure. So this will allow you to clamp this and we're going to be going from about, I'd say, about half an inch or so from the end down to the bottom here. So we're going to clamp that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up and then I'm going to show you what that looks like and then we're going to clamp it. So it's nice and hot, nice and flexible. So what we do is we take the clamp and we start by bringing the end in to where we want it. So that's at about half an inch. Bring the rest of it in. And so what I'm going to do is clamp I'm going to clamp the jig directly to the board here. That will give me extra leverage. So you just want to clamp it really tight. Because what we're doing is we're going to be creating a nice line here so we can cut this clear. So just in case you can't really see that well. So once this cools down a little bit, we're going to take this off, reclamp it, heat this up, and then flatten it back down. So I've gone ahead and reclamped it. Now what I'm going to do is heat this up and then press it against this board. That way we can flatten this up. So I'm going to heat it up and then we're going to press it and I'll show you what that looks like. So we've gone ahead and heated it up. I'm bringing it here and then you just press. You just want to press it. So the point of this is mainly just to flatten out the transition point. See how it's a little, it's got a little bit of depth to it. So you just want to flatten that down, mainly that point. Alright, so it's pretty much set now. If you can see. So we've got a nice taper. Now while it's still kind of soft, you just want to flex it to get it to line up because it might warp a little bit. Here you go, if you can see from the side. What we end up with is where right off of here it thickens up and then it continues on down to the end here. Alright, so I'm just going to let this cool. Once it's cool, I'm going to take this out and I'll show you what that looks like. Here I've gone and taken this out of the clamp so you can see there's a clear line here. And what you want to do is with a saw cut just a little below that line and then you can grind the rest down. 
This is what the tip looks like now, and once you've cut and ground it, it'll look something like this. And you also want to go and round the tip on both sides. And here's what the tip's going to look like when you're done. There's going to be a slight seam over here, and if you want, you can fill this in and sand it down, and it'll disappear. Or you could just leave it as is. I'm just going to leave it as is because, you know, I don't want to hide the fact that this is PVC pipe. I'm actually kind of proud that, you know, we can make these things out of PVC pipe. So if somebody asks, like, you see that seam? You know? That's where I clamped the end. This is just the PVC pipe. But anyway, here we go. So once you're done with this, we're going to... You're going to need to sand down the whole bow in preparation for finishing, and then you can finish it however you like. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you what that looks like.